I accidentally used a Sharpie on this. <laughs> Welcome. Today, I'd like to show you a couple of fancy boxes I built. I'm not like a great woodworker by any means, but I think these are okay. So here is number one. It is made of some kind of maple. It's like spalted. All them, see all those holes in it? Check that out, huh? I didn't know it looked like that when I bought the board. I mean, I could kind of tell, but it once I planed it down, all these holes opened up. Apparently, it's very sought after. I'm going to remove the top. Yeah, it's a mitered box. See, it's mitered. I must say, I did a pretty good job on these miters. They're pretty crisp. Look at that. Splines. Don't look. Okay, I was just saying how tight that You know, this, like I said, this is one of the earlier boxes I built, okay? Cut me a little slack. It opened up a little bit there. I think the splines, I wish I would just focus quickly. I don't know why it's. I believe the splines are walnut. And the top is walnut. I don't really like this color combination. It didn't work out so well, but... And I glued on this... pull here. Little lid. Little handle. Yeah, it did cup. Overall, though, it's not too bad. So that just... goes on there like that. That's number one. There's 15 more to go. I'm joking, there's only three. All right, number two. Check this out, huh? I got a little better. I learned on the first one. And I got a little more ambitious my second go around. This one's walnut. Similar construction method. Miters and splines. Get them splines. Yeah, it is uh, grain matched, too. Runs around the corner. See that, I think. Maybe, maybe it doesn't. Either way, it's still pretty nice looking. Put this lid here into a groove and it, it shifted a little bit and it's not quite sitting in there square anymore, but whatever. That chair is really pissing me off. My stool is creaky and it's really bugging me. Oh, oh. I rabbited that and then these pieces here, I just glued in. You can see there's a joint. So I just glued those in there and then I built the box as one piece and then cut it on the table saw to open up that top. I like making these because you don't need a lot of material and you end up with something usable. And I mean, how many cabinets can you build? I don't need cabinets. I don't need furniture really. These things don't take a lot of material. You can spend a lot of time on them. And finally, this one, I, this one I'm not as thrilled with. I kind of just started building it and then the top got a little out of control. It's very heavy. This one is uh, oak, red oak, box joints on the corner, finger joints, whatever you want to call them. And they started opening up too. You can see that. This is heavy. This is pretty heavy. And then the top, this is where I'm not so keen on this box is this top. <laughs> I don't really remember why. I was just trying some techniques. It's a mitered lid. Chamfer on it. See that? It's got a chamfer. And then another raised panel. It's just kind of goofy looking. Panel should have been flush with this. This surface here, I think. Right? Yeah, and then it looked like kind of like a cabinet door. But with it raised up like that, it looks goofy. And then these hinges, I couldn't get any hinges at the end. I got these at the craft store, they were like 80, <laughs> they were like 80 cents or something. You can tell because they are really cheesy. But I was in a hurry. I was under a lot of stress at the time, right? I was just trying to get it done. I needed somewhere to store all of my recipe cards, to store my socks. I needed somewhere to store my toothpicks. I needed somewhere to store my gold. And this is what I came up with. That's all I have for you this time. Okay. 
well, it's been fun, but it's time to bring this one to a close. Why don't you hit that like, hit that subscribe, help me out a little bit here, you know, give me a little bit of self-worth. I'll see you next time. Shutting down camera B. Boop.